Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariel and this is Dress Relief. And today I'm going to be talking more about dark academia aesthetics. So I'm going to do a little deep dive into the different types or subcategories of dark academia. So I'm going to talk about the most popular ones. So that would be light academia, darkest academia, art academia, chaotic academia, romantic academia, and pastel academia. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how to interpret different subcategories of academia or come up with your own like mixing together different aesthetics with dark academia. Also, I'm only talking about the fashion aspect of these academia subcategories. I'm not talking about the culture or the hobbies or interests of them. So keep that in mind. This is a fashion channel. I'm only talking about how to build a wardrobe for these aesthetics. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, give it a like. Comment down below how you would interpret these different subcategories of dark academia um, and also what videos you would want to see in the future and follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief if you want more fashion content or general updates on my channel and also on TikTok at Dress Relief. And let's get started. So probably the most popular type of academia is light academia. And this subcategory is basically dark academia but it takes away the dark influences of academia such as drinking, alcoholism, um, death, and addiction, and it focuses more on the positive aspects, so things like friendship and just the love of knowledge and learning. And so it's basically dark academia but with a light color palette. It uses the same elements of dark academia, so things like turtlenecks, blazers, trousers. I have a whole video on dark academia basics, so if you want to know more about actual dark academia elements, then check that video out. But basically those dark academia essentials, but in a lighter color palette, so colors like whites, creams, beiges, tans, and even some light colors such as light rose, pink colors, light blues, light greens, light yellows. Just the same elements in a brighter color palette. Next we have Darkest Academia, which is also known as Gothic Academia. And basically, you would just take Dark Academia and crank it up a notch. It takes a lot of influence from the goth aesthetic, so a lot of ghastly, dark influences, and a little bit of influence from punk fashion, Victorian fashion, Edwardian and Elizabethan fashion. And when I think of Dark Academia, a lot of vintage fashion does pop into mind, so it kind of overlaps in that sense. So I would definitely look for Victorian or Edwardian blouses and focus on a dark color palette. Next we have the Art Academia Aesthetic, which is basically the Art Ho Aesthetic mixed with the Academia Aesthetic. So this subcategory is definitely focused more on the actual culture and interest in visual arts and studying the arts, so fashion isn't all too important and you can take some creative liberties when coming up with outfits. I would definitely focus more on comfort and practicality, especially if you are creating art yourself and you know you don't want to get your fancy clothes all messed up. And I would try to mix dark academia elements, again if you don't know what those are, definitely check out my video on how to build a dark academia wardrobe and mix that with art hoe elements, so things like jeans, earthy and mustard yellow colors, and maybe like graphic t-shirts. I'd also try to find common elements between the two aesthetics. For example, I feel like I see Mary Janes and Doc Martens a lot in both aesthetics. Next we have Chaotic Academia, and when I think of Chaotic Academia, I think messy and passionate. It's a subcategory that's all about focusing more on your studies and gaining knowledge rather than your looks and appearance, so you can definitely be more casual and messy and just haphazardly put together outfits. For example, you can wear button-down shirts, which is of course a Dark Academia basic, but you can only half-button them or just messily button them and maybe have like a band t-shirt showing underneath or F it, you can wear the band t-shirt over the button-down shirt. You can also have untied shoelaces at your own risk, try not to trip, or messy eyeliner, or mismatched socks, oversized clothing, or patches or torn clothing, and lots of layering but not really caring about how the layers all look together. In terms of color palette, I'd probably try to stick to the Dark Academia color palette, but you have a lot more freedom to throw in some pops of color as well. I do have a video on Chaotic Academia outfit ideas if you're thinking this is your aesthetic and you want some inspiration.
Romantic Academia is one of my favorites and kind of the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for this summer. It's very similar to Light Academia but has more of a focus on romance, love, and lust. And so I think of like luxurious fabrics like silk, lace, satin, cashmere, etc. and romantic feminine silhouettes. I interpret it to have a very similar color scheme to Light Academia, so again, whites, beiges, and maybe some light colors like light rose pink colors. And again, I think of romantic feminine silhouettes, but again, that's how I interpret it. It doesn't have to be very feminine, um, but I think of like puff sleeves, flowy skirts and dresses, lace detailing, and maybe even some corsets. Next we have Pastel Academia, and I like to think of it as the soft girl aesthetic mixed with academia. It's less mature and more childlike and has a lot of Japanese Lolita and kawaii influence. So I love it for those who are younger and still in school, or for those of you who just like cutesy aesthetics. The color palette is a lot of pastels of course, and for some essentials I'd look for skirts, plaid patterns in light colors, collared shirts, especially with round Peter Pan collars, ruffle detailing and bows, school bags, backpacks, and maybe something with a sailor collar reminiscent of those Japanese school uniforms. You might have seen me wear a gray cardigan with a sailor color. Finally, I wanted to talk about making up your own subcategories of Dark Academia by mixing aesthetics with the example of City Academia. So basically, I would try to take two or more different aesthetics and take elements from each aesthetic and mix them together into one outfit. So for City Academia, I think of academia mixed with smart casual and trendier styles. So I would think crop tops, baggy or wider leg pants that are in right now and mix them together with academia elements like blazers. And I'd also consider lifestyle. So for city life, I imagine you'd be walking a lot. So I try to go for comfier shoes like Docs or flat Mary Janes to go for more of the academia aesthetic or even sneakers if I want to be more casual, but I definitely save the heels for another time. So that's pretty much how I would try to style different subcategories or come up with a new subcategory of Dark Academia and I think this can apply for whatever aesthetic you want to try to come up with. And yeah, that's pretty much all the aesthetics I wanted to cover today, the most popular types of academia, but if you have other types of academia that you want me to cover or maybe you want to challenge me and come up with your own mix of aesthetics and have me come up with outfits, then leave a comment down below and I just might do that. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about the different types of academia aesthetics and if it did, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below and again, follow me on Instagram at TheDressRelief and on TikTok at DressRelief and I will see you guys next time.